Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by Ideas. First of all, Happy New Year to all of you. Wish you a very happy and good New Year 2021. So in this video, I shall discuss a very important concept uh, that was come uh, uh, that came in Gate 2020. Okay, and we are preparing for Gate 2021. So the question was asked in one number question, but this question is inter for uh, important for interview also. So I request you to watch this full video. The question is a medium where epsilon r is greater than 1, mu r is equals to 1, sigma equals to 0 is semi-transparent to an electromagnetic wave when the conduction current is greater greater than the displacement current, the conduction current is less less than the displacement current, the conduction current is equal to displacement current or both the conduction current as well as the displacement current are zero. Ideally, you should take only one second to find out the answer. Since it is here, the semi-transparent medium and it is also uh, told here that epsilon r is greater than 1 and sigma is 0. So, the conduction current is directly related to the sigma and the displacement current is directly related to the epsilon r. So, the conduction current must be less less this than the displacement current for a semi-transparent optical uh, medium, okay, that is semi-transparent to the electromagnetic wave. But if you don't know or if you can't understand what is the logic or what is the physics behind these terms, look here, epsilon r, epsilon r is nothing but the dielectric constant. Dielectric constant is related to the displacement current. Why? Because displacement current is nothing but the displacement of the charges when there is a dynamic electric field that is suppose I am taking E equals to E naught cos omega t. So let us take the conduction current Jc should be sigma into E. So sigma into E will be sigma into E naught cos omega t and Jd that is displacement current is epsilon into del E del t. So epsilon into del E del t will become omega epsilon E naught sin omega t. Now this is a semi-transparent. Semi-transparent means the material it can uh, pass the light through it okay so in the metal the light cannot pass because we know that in the metal there is skin depth the light will be only penetrate will can penetrate up to certain small distance that is the order of something i mean it will depend on different materials order of the skin depth okay skin depth is that distance where the amplitude of the electric field uh, becomes 1 by e times of its amplitude now, uh, here this is semi-transparent, so this can pass, the light can pass through this semi-transparent material. So, the, there will be the dielectric constant. So, if we take, let me uh, tell one by one actually, there are a lot of concepts which I cannot tell you just randomly. So, first of all, you can find out traditionally that JC and JT, okay? So, let us take the uh, consideration of a poor conductor. Why we are taking poor conductor consideration? Since the material is semi-transparent, so the light can pass through the material. So, in the metal case, light cannot pass through it. So, that's why we have to consider this as a poor conductor as the light can pass through it. For metal, it cannot pass. So, metal is a conductor which light cannot pass through metal, but the dielectric is poor conductor and light can pass through it. So, for the dielectric, light is trans the dielectric medium is transparent to the light. So, the poor semiconductor con consideration that sigma and epsilon omega, epsilon, no, omega so, we can take the ratio Jc by Jd, that is the conduction current by displacement current, and we get the ratio as sigma by omega epsilon. And for the poor conductor, sigma should be very, very less than omega epsilon, that is sigma by omega epsilon must be less, less than 1. So, Jc by Jd is, should be very, very less than 1, okay? So, if this Jc by, J, Jc by Jd or is very, very less than 1, or JC is very very less than JD, then the medium will be semi-transparent to the electromagnetic wave. So, in the gist, what I want to tell you that the medium conductivity, the medium uh, <coughs> epsilon r, it will decide that whether the light is transparent to the medium or not. If epsilon r 
is the medium is poor conductor that is epsilon r is much much greater that is the displacement current is much much greater then light can pass through it light can pass through the medium but if the material is conductor that is sigma is much much greater and uh, then the conduction current will be much much greater than the displacement current in that case the light cannot pass through the medium that is the metal will be the absorption there will be absorption not will be the uh, uh, transmission of the light through the metal okay so this one number question that is option b that is conduction current is very very less than the displacement current if the medium is semi transparent and also we can get here that epsilon r is greater than 1 and sigma is 0 so it's a just one second you should know about this but this is also very important concept for your interview also that's why i have detailed i have discussed in detail hopefully you like this video please share this video with your friends subscribe to our channel and you can join our test series for your upcoming net examination thank you